dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel can they hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories also share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world thank you guys i appreciate your support things has indeed fallen apart for emeka ihedioha and his supporters as his hope of being returned elected it has again hits the rock the supreme court on the 13th of january nullified the election of emeka ihedioha of the people's democratic party the pdp as the governor of imo state the apex court declared Hope Uzodima of the All Progressive Congress APC as the winner of the March 9th governorship election in the state. But since then, Emeka Ihedioha has been making moves on how to recover his supposed mandate from Hope Uzodima. The recent move by Emeka Ihedioha to return as the governor of Imo State is with the law sued by RAP and its 2019 governorship candidate, Mr. Kingdom, Okeke, or Okeri as it were. They approached the court seeking judicial interpretation on whether the All Progressive Congress APC indeed sponsored Mr. Uzodinma in the 2019 Imo governorship election. Mr. Kingdom said, the suit was predicated on the judgment of the Supreme Court, which affirmed Uchenwosu as the duly nominated 2019 Imo governorship candidate of the APC. He held that since Hope Uzadema is not the candidate of the party, that his certificate of return should be withdrawn and issued back to Emeka Ihedioha. The matter was adjourned severally and slated for a ruling today, 29th of September, until a surprise move by Barista Kingdom, Okeri, and issued a notice to discontinue the lawsuit against Governor Uzodinma's victory at the Supreme Court. Well, the Constitution provides for 14 days for complaints arising from pre-election matters to be filed in court from the date of occurrence or the event. The governorship primary of APC took place on the 20th, 10, 2018. Neither of the parties challenging the election of Senator Hopuzadima nor RAP filed any action within the time stipulated in the constitution to challenge the outcome of the APC primaries that brought Uzadima as the gubernatorial candidate of the APC for the 2019 election. The only pre-election matter on the outcome of APC primaries that was filed in court was by Eze Madumere before Justice Oji of the Imo State High Court, who ruled in his judgment that Uzadima was the rightful candidate of the APC for 2019 governorship election. That judgment still holds sway till date and have not been appealed against or set aside till date. The heavy weather being created by RAP and its co-plaintiffs Emeka Ehedioha is needless on the following grounds. A. All the cases and issues of law being bandied around today are all election or post-election matters. B. You cannot argue or raise pre-election matters in an election or post-election matter. Doing so is contrary to the provision of the Constitution and amounts to illegality which the courts will not condone. C. The current players do not have the right to challenge the outcome of that primary and even where such right exists, time within which it can be constitutionally exercised has been closed permanently. 
Not even the Supreme Court can open it. It will require the amendment of the Constitution, which is not possible. Equity aids the vigilant, not the indolent. It is trite also that where the law stipulates a manner in which a thing must be done, failure to follow the procedure renders anything done illegal and void. The rebuilt table presumption of compliance, which compliance with due process or of candidature of distinguished Senator Uzodima as the APC gubernatorial candidate is in favor of Uzodima and APC there been no proper suit that challenged that in compliance with the Constitution. Although this issue were argued at the Supreme Court for the first time by counsel to Ihe Dioha and the PDP barrister Ikpeazu San and Justice Amina in response stood down the case and corrected the wrong impression Ikpeazu had and to effect that the Supreme Court did not make any pronouncement on his client's nomination. Similar issue was also raised during the review by Idowu Panje, counsel for AA and Uchen Wosu. In response again, Justice Amina requested him to choose between the matter under review or the issue of nomination upon which she would strike out his suit thereon if he chooses the letter and Idowu apologized, withdrew his application on the nomination and candidacy of his client Uchen Wosu against Uzodima and the ruling was made on it thereon. In conclusion, and in the popular legal palace, you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. The foundation of all these heavy weather creating applications are defective of the constitution and will definitely face striking out by the court, even if Mr. Kingdom did not discontinue it. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Be that as it is, Mr. or Barrister Kingdom Okere has withdrawn the suit against uh, Hope Uzadinma, which could have given life to the acclaimed return of Emeka Ihedioha to the Douglas House in Uwari. But be that as it were, do you think that it is a rape on democracy or do you think that um, it is the right thing or justice was served? Well, it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. This Supreme Court governor will know no peace until the day he vacates that seat, says this person. Another person says, if I were Emeka Hedioha, I will quietly go and prepare for another chance. He probably might be doing so. Another person says, my governor, our governor has no case with anybody. Meanwhile, the so-called rap political party of the so-called Kingdom Okere was among the political party that is being scrapped out by INEC. It is what it is. Another person is, is a John Johnny Green says, he might or might not return, but I wish him the best of luck. Evans Esom Chuku says, Thank God, at least my governor was, can relax now and give us good governance. May God give him the strength to carry on. Another person says, He has bribed the APC and the evil. Nigerian government and their corrupt presidency. Well, it is what it is. Guys, what do you think was the issue? Why did you think uh, uh, Barrister Kingdom Okere, you know, uh, discontinued the suit? Why did you think he gave up on it? What could have been wrong? What did he do or what did he not do right, as it were? Was he advised against it? Or did he feel that there probably would be no case or he felt that he would have been fined. Well, it is what it is. Well, drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.